Hey everybody, welcome back to Everyday Barbecue. My name is Mike, and I'm gonna try another recipe on the Blackstone that I've done inside, but not on the Blackstone yet, and I think it's gonna be really cool. Stay tuned for the turkey bacon melt. Okay, so here's what we're working with. We've got two pieces of Texas toast, which I've gone ahead and buttered up already, just getting that ready for the griddle. Got a nice star of the show pile of Sara Lee turkey here. Got some bacon left over from breakfast, some cheddar cheese. We've got some red onion. We've got some tomato that I've lightly salted, some thin sliced jalapeno, some garlic pickles, and I'm gonna be making my own mayonnaise contraption here. So let's do that right now and get that knocked out. Okay, so what I've got here for this mayonnaise, I've got about a half cup of mayo, roughly one and a half tablespoons of Dijon mustard, approximately one teaspoon of black pepper, and about a teaspoon and a half to two teaspoons of garlic, because I love garlic. So let's get all this stuff combined. Black pepper going in, garlic, and now the Dijon mustard. All right, now let's get all this combined. And there's what we're left with. This is gonna be a perfect addition to this sandwich. All right, so now that you've seen what I'm working with, I'm gonna get the Blackstone preheated. You could come outside and hang with me. Let's get this cooked up. Now, as usual, whenever I'm trying to film, I've got a neighbor out there mowing their grass, so I hope noise isn't too bad of an issue. But we're gonna get this knocked out anyway. It's gonna be fun, it's gonna be delicious, and I can't wait to taste it. Let's get this thing going. Okay, now for this cook, I've got the two right burners off. And I've got the two left burners set on low. We're not trying to scorch anything or really sear anything. We're just trying to heat some things up. So let's start with our turkey. That turkey's already starting to go. Let's get this bacon on here just to warm it up. Now guys, this would be a great sandwich if you're doing some after Thanksgiving stuff with some leftovers. I've done it before, uh, using Sara Lee turkey today, but I'm telling you what, this stuff tastes really good when I do this inside. So if you remember my last video, I did the sausage, potatoes, veggies. We ended up, I think we're gonna call it Windy City Stir Fry. Uh, but on that video, that was another recipe that I cook inside all the time and I just hadn't made it outside on the griddle. And once I did, I don't know if I'll ever want it any other way again. It was just so much better. So I'm kind of excited to see how this turns out. All right, let's start moving this turkey around a little bit. Now I'm not going to start toasting my bread until this turkey's almost where I want it. So we've still got a few more minutes to go for that. All right, our bacon's warm. We're just going to kind of move that here to the off side just to keep it warm. And we've got a couple more minutes here with this turkey. Then we're going to get our toast down. Let's give it a little flip. All right, turkey just needs a couple more minutes, but we are now ready to start getting this toast toasted. So we're gonna go butter side down first. I only buttered one side, and that should be perfectly fine. That's gonna be the outside of the sandwich. I will get a little toast on the inside as well, but I wanted that buttery crust on the outside for that bite. All right, now it's time for us to start getting this turkey into sort of a sandwich shape here. We know it's probably gonna be a bit much to get on there anyway, but it doesn't matter the more the merrier. Now that we've got that, let's start melting our cheese. And we're just gonna do this slowly. We're not gonna be in any real hurry here. I'm gonna let that melt. Okay, so cheese is almost melted. I checked this bread, it's ready for a flip. We've got a nice buttery crust on the outside. Now we're gonna get a little toast on the inside of that as well. So we're gonna be ready to build this bad boy in just a minute. All right, folks, I'm gonna go buttery crust down. Set that right there and it's time to build a sandwich. All right, let's get this turkey on here. Oh man, that's beautiful. Now our bacon. Let's get these slices of onion on here. Our tomato. Of course, our beautiful jalapeno. Some nice pickle. And now we are going to get our mayonnaise here on this top. All right, mayo is good to go. Crown. 
All right, let's get this bad boy inside. It smells delicious. I can't wait to try it. All right, guys, here's what we're working with. Giving you my usual close up. It smells and looks absolutely delicious. We got some really good pictures for the thumbnail, so you guys will end up seeing the winner. Um, but let's get this thing cut open and try it. Let's do it. All right, she looks beautiful. I hate to do it, but it's time. And here's what we've got. Oh man. Man, that looks delicious. Look at that. I mean, just look at that. That's crazy. That is so delicious. Let's eat this thing. Check it out. Okay, like I always say, cheers. No way I'm ever going back to Subway. I'm super happy that I left the onion raw, the tomato raw, and the jalapeno. I'm getting such a nice crisp from that when I bite into this. I gotta go in for more. That's unbelievably good. Here's another recipe I probably never cook inside again. I mean, just look at that goodness. Okay, I'm just showing you guys what a slob I am. So look, give this a try. You can do this with almost anything you want in terms of the meat, the veggies. I'm getting the crunch from the vegetables, a little bit of heat from the jalapeno. The turkey's just perfect through and through, warm, melty. The cheese, obviously I love cheese. I'm getting the pickle that's coming through with the garlic in the pickle, and then the topper on all this, no pun intended, that mayo that we made, the garlic, pepper, Dijon, mustard, uh, mayo, came out unbelievably good. And it blends in so well with this, with the bacon and the turkey. So, hey, another winner as far as I'm concerned. I wanna thank you guys for joining me today. I appreciate your support very much. I know I say this all the time. I do this mainly for my family, for my kids, for their futures, but I also do it for the viewers. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. We're gonna have more coming. We try to get at least one a week out. Thanks for joining me today. Take care. I'll see you on the next episode.